welcome back to Makeup with Gigi. Hang out with me today while I create this quick purple look and tell you a little bit about my mother. I know, she's cute and we love her sometimes. So sit back, grab a snack. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. I'm watching, kidding, kidding, but really like and subscribe below. And hang out for just a couple of minutes. Be right back. All right, like the intro said, we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna use my Bloodlust palette, but I'm also gonna throw in this OPV Beauty London Spotlight palette and this KAB Cosmetics palette. Both of these came in BoxyCharms and I just don't really use them. I kept them because like this one, I liked a couple of the shimmers and I didn't have anything else like it. And yeah, this one I also kept for the shimmers. There's some pretty colors in there. The mattes, eh, I might wear them, but I have a black. I don't really wear oranges. I don't really do like maroony colors. I don't know, we'll see. Today it's purple. So we're gonna go into Bloodlust and we're gonna pick up the color here, High King. And that is gonna be our outside V. I definitely don't want to go crazy with this because I've got other colors I want to try out and use from these other two palettes. This is just so I have a good base. And who knows, maybe I add something darker in a minute. We'll see. See what happens. But we're not going crazy on this outside corner. And I know I don't share much about family on here because they could someday see it. And, you know, I'm not trying to stir the pot too much. But I will share with you this story about my mother. My second cousin, so my mom's cousin's daughter, for those who are not caught up on how that works, is getting married today. And we're not close, so I'm not really hurt that I wasn't invited. I wouldn't have been able to go anyway, but my mom's going and she has already called me this week, kind of in a panic about her makeup, told her she came to the right place, not to worry. So via FaceTime, I went makeup shopping with her and picked her out one of the cute little bite-sized elf things. I think it was the truffle one. It's browns and nudes. She can't mess up browns and nudes. Too bad, right? Right? Anyway, so I sent her one of my videos doing nudes. Almost the same colors that she had picked out. And I figured that's really easy, you know. She, she can follow that. I told her which brushes to get. I looked at them. Everything looked good. So fast forward to today, and she calls me. And she's like, so now what do I do? We're going to switch over. This is the KAB Cosmetics palette. And I'm going to use this purple here. It's called Halo. Um, so yeah, she FaceTimes me. And I'm talking her through it. And I'm talking her through it. And number one, I told her to use her blender brush. Or in the terms we used with her. The round fluffy one. She has pulled out a shader. Not even this fluffy of a shader. Uh, something kind of similar to an M167. And I'm telling her that is not the right brush, mother. That's not going to blend. And so she gets her color on and I'm like, okay, good. Now let's blend out the edges with your blender get the fluffy one and you make tiny circles. She was not making tiny circles and it gets really frustrating. In person, I could correct her, you know, I could show her and I'm trying to show her on FaceTime. And I had a video I was gonna put in, but I, like from Snapchat, but I filmed it in the sun and you can't see what I'm talking about anyway, so I didn't worry about that. But anyway, I was doing mine in bright blues. I was using blue blood just so that she could see on the camera, you know, exactly what I was doing. 
that she would not make tiny circles. And then she got mad because it wouldn't blend right. And I'm telling her the key is tiny circles and blend until you bleed. And she's in a hurry. She doesn't have time for that because she didn't start when I told her to. And I, I told her last night to do a practice run, you know, FaceTime me last night so she could give it a once over and that way I could help her and she would not have to rush today and wouldn't feel panicked. My mom is not a girly girl. The idea of makeup kind of makes her feel panicked. So the idea of having to apply her own, you know, I can see. But alas, she did not do a practice run. She did not call me last night for pointers. She waited till the very last minute while she is getting ready and her boyfriend is like impatiently waiting, but he can wait. Anyway, uh, we did manage to get through it. Nobody cried. There was a little yelling, mostly me saying, tiny circles, tiny circles. But it did look good in the end. Like I said, it's browns. It's browns and nudes. I really didn't leave her a lot of room where she could mess it up with intention because I know her and she would get frustrated and likely end up going with either half her makeup on, just stopping where she is and saying, fuck it. Or she would have ended up taking it all off and getting real upset all day. And that's just, she's just sensitive like that. It's fine. I know this about her and uh, so I'm glad it worked out the way it did she seemed fairly happy with it when I got off of FaceTime with her she was going to ask her boyfriend if he liked it and I told her it didn't matter if he liked it because he's not the one that had to wear it all night but alas okay so we've got those colors on I thought I might want to use this twinkle twinkle color here next to it but I think thing okay this color twinkle twinkle right next to halo but I think instead I'm gonna use the one out of spotlight because I liked it a lot better it was called show and I've obviously used this palette before because it looks like it but maybe I just swatched it but anyway we're gonna put this oh oh no we're not if I get a little more is it gonna build All right, so I guess we're just gonna even this, put a little bit on here like we have so they match. And that way what I'm about to use will match too. But this, this just is not, this OPV one. We have a candidate for box of stuff I hate. All righty. Let's get it out. I just happened to have a giant Jeffree Star box around the day I decided to do this and labeled it. Save for makeup, I hate video. Ooh, we're getting quite a bit in here. Let's see, I've got my original shape tape. I've got an Eloise liquid highlighter. I've got the Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation, some Bare Minerals powder, some Marc Jacobs powder, uh, an eyebrow pen. Oh, I was looking for that one the other day. Well, that's where it ended up. My Too Faced Hangover Good To Go Moisturizer with SPF 25. Nope. This Evo Beauty Pore Effect Primer? No. We're almost up to a full face, y'all. All right. Let's move on from that. We're going to go back into... Well, let's see. All right. You know what? Let's purple it up a little bit first. I'm going to take out of Lilac You A Lot by ColourPop. This color here, Iffy. I love that it is like a purple purple. I'm just going to use it to kind of oomph up my crease here. Y'all know I like a little extra oomph.
still on the search for a purple for my lid. That may work. Please hold. And I don't think In a Trance is gonna, I think it's too light. In a Trance is out of the tie-dye collection. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do it today. Brush bag, oh my stuff is fine. Okay, let's use this color in the middle of Lilac You A Lot, Fluff. Yeah, that works. And that's pretty close to the color I was gonna use out of the uh, OPV palette. Get our usual little George here to soften. I feel like this is not quite right. Okay. I'm going to hit it with my e.l.f. Expert Liner in black and be right back. Alright, before we take the tape off, I'm going to hit my brow bone real quick with a little bit of this color here, Trainwreck. This is again in Lilac You A Lot. But I don't want to lose my crisp edge when I do this later. Take the tape off, see how we did. Come on. Oh, we got a little cleanup to do. That's okay, I'll be right back again. All right, we're gonna go in today with our True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum by L'Oreal. It's not my favorite, it's not my least favorite, but I think it's gonna do okay today. I do like this one because you don't use a ton of it. It's a light coverage. I just don't feel like I always get it everywhere, you know? I think it's more, I think my dislike, the things I dislike about it are more user error than the fault of the actual product. But I think I'm trying to put it on too heavy to start with. So let's try to do just a very thin layer and then, if we need a little more, you know, in a little bit, we'll uh, go back in. But I do, I think a lot of my problems with this one have been my own errors. Just getting acclimated to using this type of product. All right, we're gonna move on. Hope for the best. I'm gonna pair it today with some Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Sand 27S, and this is the Ultra Creamy. The original was far too drying for me. I really dig the Ultra Creamy though. And I saw somebody, I don't know, on TikTok maybe? I don't know, I saw somebody do a little dot of like a lighter one in the middle. So I'm gonna use my 12N, which is fair neutral. It is very white. And I'm just gonna put a little of that right here where it's almost darkest and kind of hope the mixture of the two maybe will give me a little more bright than usual. Let's find out. Yeah, 
nice brightness. Do you think this? And see, it's just that one little dot. It goes a very long way. It does look a wee bit dry, but I think that's just my face. So we're going to move on. And yes, I know I got concealer all over my wing again. We'll play wing touch up. Okay, just a minute. Let's get all this set down first. And... I do feel like with this serum, tinted serum instead of foundation thing going on here, I definitely feel like I need a layer of powder to set it. Like all over my face, not just in the places I usually would do it. So we're going to do just a light all over powdering real fast. Just need a little more powder. And I like to use what's in the lid. And I have this big fluffy Eco Tools full powder brush. It's very similar shape to my blush brush that I like so much. But I just wanna kinda give it a little all over once over. Just to put everything in its place. Okay. And then I'll take Shorty. Okay. And a layer of setting spray. Okay. We're going to let that dry, hang out for a minute, and I'll be right back. Let's go in with our Hula Bronzer and start getting this finished up here. Take my fan brush, and just our usual. So yeah, my mom's cute. She, uh, she tries hard. Makeup just isn't her thing, and that's okay. She's good at lots of other things. So, we don't hold it against her. Someday I'm gonna be close enough to her that I can actually touch her face with a brush and show her exactly what she needs to be doing on the, you know, once every five years that she wears makeup to help it kind of suit her face better and show her what to highlight and what to kind of cover up and how to do it. Okay. Blush, let's see, we're doing purple. We could probably get away with any blush. Maybe we use on the horizon today. Yeah. I will put up a picture right here. from preschool when she tried to curl my hair and it's a running family joke now that she is not permitted to do anyone's hair not a one because of this picture and it cracks me up in her defense it was preschool and they didn't take pictures till after they sent us outside for recess so it's really only kind of her fault, I guess. But we're still gonna we're still gonna make a joke out of it every chance we get. We still gotta finish up under our eyes. Let's get this out of the way. I'm kind of letting my eyes hang out for a minute there. I uh, stepped out, smoked a cigarette, managed to get cigarette smoke in my eye because you know that's the thing that happens. So I had to do some quick touch-ups and they needed a minute to hang out and sit. Okay, that is my hair not messed up. Okay. 
thought for a minute I had eyeliner somewhere. It should not be. My headband tries. Okay. Now, let's remind our eyebrows who they are because they've gotten just a little smooshed. Stand back up, girls. There we go. Under our eyes, I'm going to go back into Lilac You A Lot. And with my M165, I'm going to take, again, the color Iffy, this purple purple here in the middle. And just do a set of these. And I'm going to go into the KAB palette and I'm going to pick up Halo again. This guy here, this pinky purple we used. I'm going to do it right under here. And our number 4BH Cosmetics brush. We're going to pick up the color Deviant right here from Bloodlust. It's just the nicest lightest purple for blending out under here without adding too much extra something going on you know We already did our brow highlight. We're going to touch that again in a minute, though, with some highlighter. And, yeah, let's do our highlighter first. I'm... All right, I've got Tinkerbell. I've got the Kaleidoscope Highlighter Palette. We're going to hit it with this pink one here. And as far as highlighters go, these are my favorites next to Jeffrey's. I just randomly found this palette on Amazon. I don't even know who makes it. Oh, You Can Be. That was the brand You Can Be. But it's so pretty. So if you haven't already, I would hit Amazon up and see if this is still available. I've only had it, well, I guess about a year. But it's just super pretty. And it's not like super in your face but it, it can be. And you can definitely tell I've used colors more than others. This one and the top row versus the rest. I haven't used too terribly much just because, I don't know, I just haven't. They just don't speak to me the way these do. Okay. something with shorty here. We're gonna add a little something something to that. I don't know what though. Let's get out Ripple. It's again a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It is discontinued. Sorry. It's so pretty though. If you can find one resale, it's worth picking up. It does have a little bit of purple pigment but not a ton. I can use it on my cheeks and not have super purple cheeks. But it gives a nice shimmer to your eyes. Just a little on my cheeks. See, it's not super purple. And we're going to blend it just to alleviate some of that color. There we go. And I just don't feel like I have met my glitter quota for the day. I know there's not such a thing as a glitter quota, but I haven't met mine. So we're going here. Sacred Glass, Jeffree Star, for those who don't know. We're going to pick up our M431 and Pearly Gates. 
which is a pearl color. And our inner corner. And Tinkerbell again. As I pack it on just a little. Okay, lips today, we're going to, I think we're just gonna go pretty neutral and yak it up. Let's hit it with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Shot Clock. All right, and the Jeffree Star Yak. This is a Velour Liquid Lip. It was only available in the Summer Mystery Box. Although his prick, yeah, pricked uh, collection that recently launched, it is coral, so there may be a similar color. It won't be the same once they are in a mystery box like that. They go in the vault. And rarely, because I've seen it happen, but rarely do they come back out. That's our look for Friday. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Is there any help for my poor mother? But it's okay. We love her anyway. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll see you next time. Bye.